Welcome back. The big pharma battle escalates. The Supreme Court has pressed pause on Purdue Pharma's bankruptcy reorganization after President Trump's, or President Biden, excuse me, objections over protections in the place for the Sackler family. Yahoo Finance's Anjali Kamlani has been tracking this. She's got the details. Hey, Anjali. Hey, Brad. Well, it's good you brought up President Trump because this does go back to that time. But let's uh, fast forward to what happened just now. The U.S. Supreme Court uh, taking a look at what the bankruptcy deal would entail. That in includes $6 billion from Purdue Pharma to the victims of the opioid epidemic the uh, now the, the hearing date for this is going to be in December. So that kind of draws out what seemed like it had been sort of a concluded episode in this saga. Uh, Purdue Pharma, of course, owned by the Sackler family. Formerly, they did withdraw billions of dollars, up to $11 billion back in 2020, and have also been seeking protection or indemnity against any future lawsuits. And that's the point of contention for the U.S. government, saying that they don't see that as a, a sort of a fair way to go about this, that uh, it is an abuse uh, of the bankruptcy system. And that's been the sort of underpinning point that uh, started this new, uh, you know, new uh, court a decision. And so we're going to have to wait to hear and see how this all plays out. It does have some potential impact on other similar bankruptcy filings by healthcare companies and other companies, 3M and Johnson & Johnson, for example. We know that Johnson & Johnson does have a bankruptcy filing going on for its talc uh, litigation and similarly has been holding it off sort of in a separate entity. So while it's not quite exactly the same as this Purdue case, it could potentially have some implications for those others, the other one being 3M as well. So uh, this is, you know, what experts are saying. That's why all eyes are on this. Uh, there has been some uh, opposition from the victims against this new uh, position. And we are going to just have to wait till December to hear the arguments in the Supreme Court and then the decision likely early next year. All right, Yahoo Finance's own Anjali Kamani. Thanks so much, Anjali, for tracking all this, bringing it to our attention.